Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Pal here, coming at you with a very quick guide on how to set up Tenchu 3 Wrath of Heaven through PCSX2 or 1.5, so you guys can get it looking sharp and shiny in HD in 2020. Please note that like my others, this video assumes that you've already got one of the development builds, one of the 1.5 builds of PCSX2 up and running. If you're not using a development build, if you're still using a 1.4, please head on over to the PCSX2 website, where under download and under development, you will find links there to the latest dev builds. So in terms of stuff you're actually going to want to set manually for Tenchu, there is very little that you need to do. It's a very well optimized game and it runs great on mostly default settings. If I open up our video configuration window here and look at our video plugin settings, this is what I've currently got set. This is more or less my default with a couple of important tweaks just for Tenchu as well. Over here, we're using the OpenGL hardware renderer. Interlacing, I have currently got set to default, but do note that if you're getting any weird screen shaking, if things do look a little bit blurry for you, you can cycle through your interlacing options while you're in-game by just tapping your F5 key, and you can select one that looks good for you, but the chances are the default will be absolutely fine. Text filtering set to its default at bilinear. Uh, I'm allowing 8-bit textures so that my GPU picks up some of the slack. Custom resolution at 2560 by 1440. 16 times anisotropic filtering, mip mapping set to default. The CRC hack level, however, I have set manually. I have set that to aggressive rather than its default options. This is because under the default option, I was encountering some odd alpha transparencies like the ones that you can see on screen at the moment. But by swapping my CRC hack level to aggressive, you can see that clears those right up. Everything else, date accuracy, blending accuracy, is on its default settings, default or recommended. There are no hardware hacks currently enabled to make this work. And if I close out of our video plugin settings and just very quickly pop over to our emulation settings under config, you will note that all of these are at their default values, with the exception of that MTVU checkbox under micro VU hacks. It's something that likely won't be set by default when you download PCSX2 at 1.5, but it's something that I have set more or less as a default, as I do have more than three calls in my machine and it doesn't seem to cause any issues. Other than that, that should be more or less everything you need to get Tenchu 3 or Wrath of Heaven up and running, looking sharp and shiny in HD for 2020. All of my PC specs, as well as the exact build of PCSX2 1.5 that I'm using, and all of those settings that I've adjusted manually can be found in the description below. If you guys encounter any issues, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I also stream retro games just like this on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at twitch.tv forward slash palfox. Feel free to pop in, say hi, ask any questions. Hopefully I shall see some of you guys there. For everyone else, hope that helped and happy emulating.